caught up in this fast life Every morning that I pray Gotta make it out some way Put a smile back on my mama face Yeah, I'm caught up in this fast life Every morning that I pray Gotta make it out some way Put a smile back on my mama face Yeah Back to your mom, so how many times is she, She's alright? Like, good. how many times was she shot and the other person as well? I believe she was shot twice and the other person was shot maybe twice too, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. So when exactly. you, when you, um, walked away from Shirley, did you, did you, um, was you able to get in contact yeah, with Yeah, that's my question. Cause you went, that's a long way from Shirley to, um, Springfield. Was you able to get yeah, in contact I with your mom? To, nah, nah, nah. I didn't want to because I didn't want to get like everybody jammed up and right, right. I knew that you know you get in trouble by no but did, so did, I wasn't, wasn't, like what, everybody no no not, not actually um see or did somebody let you know she was okay like oh yeah yeah, yeah. She, I spoke to her and she told me she was good on okay, the break yeah, yeah. when I called right because so let's be clear on something even left your per well, your, huh? your your reason for leaving Shirley in the first place was to the, check on mother correct I needed to see what was going on, period, because it was just, like, I, daddy was, just wasn't safe, so I just wanted to make sure he, she was good and whatever she, she was, was going on. And I want you to tell the people, because, again, not everybody has ever done a jail bid or even know where Shirley's at or what's going on or anything, but tough you being in prison and you got that information, you called home what you thought was going to be a happy phone call, and you called happy mom birthday, to say right. happy birthday. And right. you get news that she's in the hospital from suffering from gunshot yeah. wounds. Um, many people right. don't know that, you know, you can't go to a CEO and say, hey, can you call the hospital and check on my mom? Right. Yeah, you can't do anything. And that, from where I was at, if they would have even have known what happened, they probably would have just moved me to higher security. Right. Absolutely. So I probably would have been Locked you down more, punished right? more than anything right. else. Yeah. So it wasn't even, but, you know, and I don't, I wasn't really grown up that way where I would even go speak to them about something like that anyway, right. to be honest. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? They, they didn't want, they're not my friends, so they're not going to help me right. regardless. Yes. Like, so, no, I know that. So I'm not even going to play Because again, they're going to put you in a max and then. Right. That's what they're going to do. Or put me in a hole. You know what I'm saying? And try to wait however long till they feel like I'm calm again. But when I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Well, how did yeah. you even like. It doesn't make sense, but that's just what they do. So they wanted. To, this is what they really. This is how it went. So once I left, you know, they used it. To, they used it to dress up the media and and all of that. And especially after the shoe happened. So now I know they. I know it was more like a like like if people think I did that, jumped out the trunk shooting and, and all of that. Like how they try to portray it, then I probably really did do the barbershop shooting. Right. And that's how they played it throughout my whole. So the whole rest of the ordeal. Okay. Now, to go back to the barber, barber, <laughs> the barber shop shooting and bringing it back to you being at the hospital, as I stated, right? So right. one thing about that like so, that I did notice, um, and I'm just going to, this is part of the evidence as well that you put out there for yourself. One thing that I did notice, I did see the video of you in the hospital. And in the video of you in right. the hospital, you have... Um, the person that they was looking for for the barbershop shooting, one of the dis distinctive looks that they pointed out is that this man had braids. He was a black man with braids. Right. And right. Um, I seen the video of you at the hospital the day of um, when you were shot by the police, and you are a black man with no braids. Right. And then I also saw right. photos that you posted of you, and it looked like prison photos um, of you and a female. Yep. And that, that April too. April twenty second right. is 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 um, right. That was eight days before. The right, event. it's stamped on the photo yeah. the day the photo was taken. Right. So that was April twenty right. second, which was the day before you call mom and all of that. And there's no braids. Yeah. There's no braids. And then there's right. there's other photos. Um, I, I believe the same month, right before that. Right, no braids. Yeah. And when I say no, no braids, braids, people, right. I mean like, like low, low haircut, haircut, fade. Low haircut, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and so, it's impossible for somebody to grow braids in eight days, grow enough right. hair to get it braided that, in eight right. days. It's, and, it's impossible. And, and I can say, you know, as someone who touches hair, like that's not, that wasn't extensions. Yeah. That, the, the picture that right. they had of you with braids was from my understanding an old picture where you used to have braids. Right. Those, right. those pictures 
Right. Those pictures are all sort of. So you got the victim that's telling the victim in, in the witness. He's a victim and a witness, and he's the only witness to the case, to the identity of the shooter. Right. And they tell he's telling that it's a black male with braids. So they show him a photo array of eight black males, but only one of them with braids, which was me. Yeah. We're gonna right? also show this. So, uh, these photos. Yeah, because we have the photos here, photos, and yeah, I oh, see. Yeah. It. yeah. You got the photo array. What I don't yeah. understand is so, you have a group of photos. There's what, like five, there's no, ten eight, pictures there. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight. Okay, so you have eight. Okay, so you have a lineup of eight black young men, right? And yeah. none of them have braids except for one. And that's you, an old right. picture of you. Right. Right, an old picture of me. And that's what I wanted, and, that's, and then when I, when I, now he got the pictures, they let him do a, a process of elimination Basically, like, out of the four, like, when you're really supposed to do, when you do photo arrays, they're not even supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to give it to them, like, one at a time, and then right. if you don't identify anyone, then you don't identify one. You can't just keep looking over the same eight photos right. until, until you feel like you see somebody that looks the most like them, and which is exactly what he did. So, so what he did was, out of the eight photos, he put four to the side and looked at those again. And out of the four to the side that he looked at, two of them. He looked at two of them. And then, it, and then he said it mainly looked like number seven. I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning, not I pray. 